What's up guys, James Larson here, quickly just going to talk about the exciting announcement for the Tamron 7200mm f2.8 G2. Just happened a couple days ago, and this is really huge for lots of photographers, because there's a bunch of them that own the G1, and it's quite good optically, but there are definitely some shortcomings, especially when it comes to autofocus performance, and they were wanting that to be fixed. So it seems like in this G2 version, it's updated, so it's going to be really important to see how Tamron does there. First off, they claim that it's got outstanding resolution and contrast reproduction performance, beautiful bokeh, and full compatibility with Tamron teleconverters. It's got an improved vibration compensation system that provides the highest VC ability in its class. Vibration compensation is Tamron's version of image stabilization, and apparently on one of the modes, it's got five, it can do five stops, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's got three situation-specific VC modes. One of them is the five stops mode. Another one is more, you know, your average normal VC mode. And then another one is for panning. Something that's huge is that it's got improved autofocus speed and responsiveness. So hopefully they've uh, taken into consideration the complaints from owners of the previous version. They've updated it and let's really hope that they hit it out of the ballpark in that category. It's got a closer minimum focusing distance of 37.4 inches, uh, 1 to 6.1 magnification ratio, which that's going to be nice. It's going to give you a little more versatility out in the field. It's got a beautiful new design. It really looks nice. Uh, it's got a moisture proof and dust resistant con construction. So that's going to be really helpful if you're stuck in the rain. It's got fluorine coating on the front element, which will help protect against water and oil. So that's super helpful there. Uh, overall, that design just looks beautiful. What's really great to see with this new Tamron is that it's got a price point of $1,300, which is $200 less than the G1. And especially if Tamron has a home run with this lens, that's going to really be a steal. So overall, this lens does look like it's quite an improvement, both in the build quality and optically. I've got high, high hopes for this lens, and I'm just really hoping that Tamron hit a home run with it. So that just wraps up this quick video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you plan on pre-ordering one. I think it will start shipping towards the end of February. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.